इट सो हैपेंड सप्लीमेंट्री रीडर इन इंग्लिश फॉर क्लास एट पेज वन चैप्टर वन हाउ द कैमल गॉट हिज हम्प पार्ट वन द वर्ल्ड हैड जस्ट बिगैन एंड द एनिमल्स वेर वर्किंग फॉर ह्यूमन्स देर वॉज अ लेजी एनिमल दैट डिड नथिंग एंड सेड नथिंग बट हम्प even the clever dizen was at his wits end now the text in the beginning when the world was new and the animal were just beginning to work for man there was a camel and he lived in the middle of a howling desert because he did not want to work he ate sticks and thorns and prickles and when anybody spoke to him he said humph just humph and no more presently the horse came to him on monday morning with a saddle on his back and said camel o oh camel come out and trot like the rest of us humph said the camel and the horse went away and told the man Presently the dog came to him with a stick in his mouth and said Camel oh camel come and fetch and carry like the rest of us Now word meaning Dijin pronounced jin and variously spelt as g e n i e g e n i i j i n n e e D J I N N I, D J I N N Y, which means a spirit that has strange powers and can assume any form, human or animal. Page two. Humph, said the camel, and the dog went away and told the man. Presently. The ox came to him with the yoke on his neck and said, "Camel, O oh camel, come and plow like the rest of us." "Humph," said the camel, and the ox went away and tore the man. At the end of the day, man called the horse and the dog and the ox together and said, "Three, O oh three, I am very sorry for you." but the humph thing in the desert can't work or he would have been here by now so i am going to leave him alone and you must work double time to make up for it that made the three very angry and they held a panchayat on the edge of the desert and the camel came chewing curd and laughed at him then he said humph and went away again presently there came along the dizen who was in charge of all desert rolling in a cloud of dust page 3 dizen of all deserts said the horse is it right for any one to be idle certainly not said the dizen well said the horse There is a thing in the middle of your desert with a long neck and long legs and he hasn't done a stroke of work since Monday morning he won't trot yo said the dizen whistling that's my camel what does he say about it he says hump and he won't plow said the ox very good said the dizen I will hump him if you will kindly wait a minute. Comprehension check. 1. What tasks do you think were assigned to the dog and the ox? 2. Why did the camel live in the middle of the desert? 3. What made the dog, the horse and the ox very angry? 4. How did the dizen knew the horse was complaining against the camel now the word meaning i'll hump him which means i'll deal with him appropriately
or I'll set him right. Page 4. Part 2. The Dizen remonstrated with the camel who said, Humph! The camel's beautiful back suddenly grew a lump, which was the camel's hump. The Dizen assured the camel his hump would always be a help, not a hindrance. The Dizen rolled himself up in the dust cloak and took a walk across the desert and found the camel looking at his own reflections in the pool of water. My friend, said the Dizen, What's this? I hear of you doing no work. The Dizen sat down with his chin in his hand while the camel looked his own reflection in the pool of water. You have given the three extra work ever since Monday morning, all on account of your idleness, said the Dizen. And he went on thinking with his chin in his hand. Now the word meaning. Remonstrated. That means protested or complained. Page 5 Humph, said the camel. I shouldn't say that again if I were you, said the Dizen. You might say it once too often. I want you to work. And the camel said humph again. But no sooner had he said it than he saw his back that he was so proud of, puffing up and puffing up into a great big humph. Do you see that? said the Dizen. That's your very own hump that you have brought upon your very own self by not working. Today is Thursday and you have done no work since Monday when the work began. Now you are going to work. How can I? said the camel with this hump on my back. That has a purpose, said the Dizen. All because you missed those three days, you will be able to work now for three days without eating. Because you can live on your hump. And don't you ever say, I never did anything for you. Come out of the desert and go to the tree and behave. And the camel went away to join the tree. And from that day to this, the camel always wears a hump. We call it hump now, not to hurt his feelings. But he has never yet caught up with the three days that he missed at the beginning of the world. And he has never yet learned how to behave. By Rudyard Kipling, abridged. Comprehension Check 1. The camel was looking at his own reflection in the pool. What does it suggest to you about the camel? 2. The camel said, Humph! repeatedly. How did it affect him? 3. What according to Dizen was the use of the humph? 4. He has never yet learned to behave. In the light of this, what is the writer's opinion about the camel? Page 6 Exercise Discuss the following topics in groups. 1. Can this story be factually true? 2. What according to you is the story about? Consider the following. 1. How the world began. 2. Why everyone should do his or her share of work seriously. 3. How animals are important to humans. 4. How the camel got his hump. 3. What did you do over the weekend? Were you generally active or idle? Please check your back before starting to discuss or answer the question. 4. There are broadly two categories of workers. Those who prefer to do today what they can do tomorrow. And those who prefer to do tomorrow what they can do today. Where do you belong? Think it over. All work is dignified. There is no such thing as manual work. He who struggles is better than he who never attempts. 
ऑल वर्क एंड नो प्ले इज इट अ गुड आइडिया विलियम फॉल्कनर अमेरिकन नॉवेलिस्ट एंड पोएट डिडेंट थिंक सो इन हिज वर्ड्स वन ऑफ द सैडेस्ट थिंग इज दैट द ओनली थिंग दैट अ मैन कैन डू फॉर एट आवर्स अ डे डे आफ्टर डे इज वर्क यू कैंट ईट एट आवर्स अ डे ऑल यू कैन डू फॉर एट आवर्स इज वर्क which is the reason why man makes himself and everybody else so miserable and unhappy it so happened you were just listening to this audio book production assistance meenakshi kukreti recorded by batilang lingdo technical assistance vikas sangwan produced by ajit horo and presented by cieet NCERT New Delhi India